Let's play 21 questions. Hey, it feel right, don't it? I only ever get a year if I want it. Welcome back to the number three podcast in the world. My name is Nick. This is Cakes. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. What's up, dude? Hey, oh, you're uh, wait, wait, you're wait. gone right now. Yeah, I just started that late, so good luck. Welcome back to the number three podcast in the world. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Nick. This is Cake. This is Cake. Are you ready, ready Freddy? Freddy. Uh, dude, you're gone right now. Te- I mean, technically, bro, you are not here, dude. You're sitting on a beach, drinking a virgin pina colada. Ice cold agua. You know what I'm talking about? Ice cold about. agua. Oh, yeah. And uh, kicking your feet up on the sand. You know the vibes. Getting uh, getting extra juiced up. You know getting the extra vibes. Juiced up. You know the vibes. Uh, what's your favorite part about the beach? I don't know. I don't know. Like not like not having a responsibility. Like usually when you're there, you're not like not working or anything. Is your are, are you able to turn your mind off to work? Mm, sometimes, not really. Last time I was, I think this time I will be too. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you rather get a paper cut every time you turn a page or bite your tongue every time you eat? Hey, one more time. One more time. Would you rather get a paper cut every time you turn a page or a bite your tongue every time that you eat? Uh, I'm going. Oh, give me a cut. paper cut every time, hey, bro. bro. I don't. I don't read, bro. <laughs> ha, uh, ha, uh, ha, uh. I don't remember the last time I turned a page, but <laughs> I'm saying, bro. What are I'm you talking here, about? <laughs> I'm out here reading books. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, you can't turn a page on Audible. <laughs> <laughs> bro, oh, imagine you God. show up. Imagine you show up to my house, bro, and I'm sitting there reading a book like a nerd. <laughs> what do I look like, bro? A scholar athlete? Not me. And what's the other one? Or bite your tongue every time that you eat? Every yeah, time that you chew? I broke my glasses last night. You broke your glasses? Yeah, I broke them. I just remembered. I super glued them together. Like down the middle? Like Harry Potter style or like? No, nah, like right here. How'd you do that? Just rolled over on top of them. Like in bed? Yeah. Or like you wear yeah. glasses to bed? Nope, that's why I rolled over on top of them. <laughs> Because I don't wear them to bed. Oh, I thought they were on your yeah. face and you rolled, like, turned your head on your pillow. No. Nope. But you just had them in bed with you? You sleep with your glasses next to you? No, I set them there. <laughs> That's unfortunate, man. Yeah, I set them there. You know? That's just how what? life goes sometimes, man. Uh, what animal would be way better if it was covered in scales? Mm, chicken. Just like, like your, fruit. yeah, your household chicken. Um, a reptilian chicken, bro. Yeah, because at that point they become apex predators. <laughs> Explain, bro. I'm not really connecting the dots there. What do you mean they become? I feel like any any bird with scales is an apex predator. No, you think they would go up the food chain with scales? I think any any bird goes up the f- the food chain if you give them scales. Yes. Cause that's one. That's really one. Like a dinosaur type. That's one step short of a dragon. You know. <laughs> sometimes, bro. Sometimes, I think you're absolutely dumb. But this time. What? But this time, you 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 think I'm absolutely smart? What are you talking about? No, I was. That was the end of the sentence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Bro, what what animal with scales, bro? Um, Who do you think would play you in a movie? Maybe an elephant. Who would play me in a movie, bro? Probably Danny DeVito. Colin Farrell. No, probably. Well, Colin Farrell, Leo, Josh Hartnett, Danny DeVito. (laughs) Wee man. Wee man. Wee man. (laughs) Stop it, bro. (laughs) 
<laughs> and everybody knows what you're doing. Uh, no, I'm just, just thinking out loud. Um, why? Why lose people, bro? Why lose people? I'm thinking maybe the guy that plays George Costanza. <laughs> bro, why? Stop it. Why what? these people? I was going to say for you, I was going to say for you to you insult me, I was going to be like, maybe Matthew McConaughey. Maybe, maybe like, you know, uh, Chris Evans. But now I'm going to say, uh, who's that? Who's it? Dang, who's that? Jay from Silent Bob. I think he would play you, bro. The guy who plays Jay and Jay and Silent Bob. All right, put some water in your mouth. Bro, do not set it up like that. <laughs> Some water in your mouth. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Look at this. You let me do this whole time. Mhm. I got something in my teeth, bro. Hold up. You didn't tell me about it. You got water in your mouth. Mhm. How long has I been in there for the last two episodes? Dude, I had lunch right before this. What you do? You didn't even tell me about it. All right. I've been in there the whole time. <laughs> if I laughed, dude, everybody saw it. Dad gone. All right. Um, where do armies belong? In your sleeveys? <laughs> uh, <what? laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's the best air to breathe if you want to be rich? Millionaire. <laughs> I know I got to go. Here it goes. Uh, here it goes. Okay. Uh, 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 what invention allows us to see through walls? A window. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. What, what, what did one plate say to the other plate? Tonight? Dinner's on me. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, what's uh, what's orange? Sounds like a parrot. Carrot. <laughs> Why did nurses like red crayons? In case, in case they got to draw blood. <laughs> I thought I thought the one was gonna be what's orange and sounds like a parrot. An orange parrot? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, what do you call a happy cowboy? Jolly Rancher. Stop a bull from charging. Cancel his credit card. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-huh. All right. Here we go. Oh. Man, sorry. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just reading a couple, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How long does it take an octopus to laugh? Tentacles. <laughs> Good ones, but I can't. <laughs> they're, all, they're all so bad. Uh, what what did one hat what did one hat say to the other? You go on ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Look at my screen. <laughs> what happened to it? 
It's water. No I'm shit. out of water, dude. No shit. <laughs> All right, that last one was pretty good, dude. <laughs> that last one was pretty there was a couple good. in there. There was a couple in there. Oh, man. Dude. Let's, um, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to get inside your head. Doubt it. <clears throat> Let's play 21 questions. Welcome to Fresh Ball Fall. It's the season of pumpkin spice and making sure your crotch looks nice. This means sipping cider in the fall breeze and using Manscaped products to trim your balls with ease. That's right. Today's show is brought to you by Manscaped, a company here to make sure that your foliage isn't the only thing shedding excess leaves. Heck, even Mother Nature knows it's time to lose the excess clutter for fall. Join the 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with code FREDDY. That's F-R-D-I, FREDDY. Manscaped has definitely helped my confidence to make sure that my package always is on point. Go to manscaped.com and get 20% off and free shipping with code FREDDY. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com with code FREDDY. That's F-R-D-I, FREDDY. Manscaped, clear out your leaves. It's your trunk's time to shine. Back to the show. Back to the show. Back to the show. Play 21 question. How'd you get in there? How'd you know what I was going to say? I have it written down. Let's play 21 questions. Let's play 21 on my questions sheet. on my sheet. Get out of my head, dude. <laughs> You're not delayed. You're not delayed. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. This is not. Bro. <laughs> All right, bro. In my head, I'm going to think of something, and you got to ask one of your questions and try to figure out what it is. I got to ask 21 questions. Or you have up to 21 questions to figure out what I'm thinking of. You ever played this game before? Maybe. All right. Uh, okay, I got it. Don't I start with, like, person, place, or thing? Is that what I do? I can only answer yes or no. Uh, actually, no, we'll make it a little bit easier. Yeah, we can do that. You have to tell me, I think, person, place, or thing, right? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. It's a, it's a thing. A thing, okay. Um, is it in your room right now? No. Don't look, why are you looking over there, right? Like, you got a window right there. It must be outside, outside of your side in the window. <laughs> you know, you're looking out the window. Is it outside your window? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's going to get easy, bro. Only a handful of things out there, dude. <laughs> Go on, bro. <laughs> Only a handful of things out there. Uh, let me think what could be out there. Could be a tree, could be a car, could be a truck, could be a bird, could be a stoplight, could be a dumpster, could be a... out your window. I went in your room. I didn't look out your window. You're in your room... So the the balcony doesn't go all the way over to your room. So it's literally just a window. Uh, all right. Is it a, is it a vehicle? No. Okay. So it's not a vehicle. Is it a something that grows, like a plant or something? Any type of plant that grows. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Is it? I mean, is it a tree? Yeah. <laughs> What an idiot. <laughs> hey, yo. How'd you do that? What an idiot, bro. All right, your turn. You want me to go again or you Nailed it, bro. I nailed it. You want me to go or you go? I know. I got it right here, dude. I got it right here. All right. Person, place, your thing. Thing. Can you hold it, all of it, in your hand? Yeah. I'm, technically. Okay. Probably. Is it? Yeah. Is it smaller than a loaf of bread? No. Okay. Is it, um, do you own one? Yeah. Is it... A part of your body? No. Is it in the room with you? No. Do you have one at home? Yeah. Is it in your kitchen? 
I'm going to say yeah. Okay. Is it so I don't in other you. rooms as well? Technically, but like, no. What does that, what does that even mean, bro? I'll tell you after, but... All right. Um, is it below your nipples? Sorry? Like, like, if you're standing in the room, does it sit below your nipples? Most of the time? <laughs> no, what do you mean most of the time? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So, like, if you're not touching it, it's below your nipples. Sure. <laughs> Yo, what? Um, all right. So, smaller loaf of bread is in your kitchen. I said not smaller. Though. Below your nipples. So, it's bigger than loaf of bread. Um, do you use it? Me personally? Not so much. <laughs> Does your wife use it? Yeah. Is it on the counter? Sometimes. Do your kids use it? Yeah. Do you move it around your house when you use it? Sometimes. Is it an iPad? <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> no. All right. Is it a toaster? It's breakfast cereal. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> you weren't going to get it, bro. You're on the wrong track, my dude. All right. All right. I got one more. Okay. I got one more. Okay. I right, go. Thing. You already have it. Thing. First place or thing? Thing. Thing. Uh... Is it edible? No. Uh, do you do you own one? Yes. Outright, or you got a payment on it. Outright. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. It's, uh, it's a flex. When you hear what it is, too, you go. It's, it's a flex. You can be like, damn. It's a flex. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a flex, dude. Uh, you own one. Mm-hmm. Is it in your apartment? Yeah. Was it moose? That's a question. Yeah. No, no. Not moose. Okay. An Apple Watch? Are you just going to name things? You're going to ask more questions. Apple no. Watch? No. I'm in your head. That's why I'm asking straight up. All right. Is it? Uh, uh, do you do you have it on your body sometimes? Nope. On your body? No. Can you pick it up and hold it? Yes. Is it bigger than a uh, laptop? No. I can't hold up four fingers like that. It's not bigger than a laptop. Smaller than a laptop. Yeah. Same and you place. said it's in you said it's in your apartment right now. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> you own it outright, huh? Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is it yours or Ashley's? Nobody owns it. Nobody owns it. Well, we, we both own it. You own it outright. It's, it's someone, I'm not going to be like, yo, that's mine. You Smaller know? than a laptop. Yeah. Right. You got 11 more questions. Smaller than a laptop. Mm-hmm. You own it outright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, do you, uh, do you use it daily? Not daily, no. Not daily. Every now and again, huh? Okay. Um, and you can pick it up and hold it. Mm-hmm. You sure can. Oh, yeah. And I own it outright. Is it uh, more or less than 
$200. Less. And you don't use it every day. Mm-mm. Less than 200 bucks. Kitchen? Is it in your kitchen? Yeah. Yep. All the time? Is that another question? Yeah. Yeah, 14. Yeah, seven more questions. All the time it's in the kitchen. Smaller than a laptop. <sighs> See, I wanted to say coffee pot, but you don't use it every day. And I feel like you use the coffee pot every day, so I can't say that. And that's bigger than a laptop, bro. A coffee pot? Yeah. Yeah. Really? I think so. I would have had it around the, you know, the same size. But... Is it electronic? No. <laughs> Interesting. Is it smaller than uh, a plate? <clears throat> yes. Hmm. Smaller than a cell phone? No. In between a cell phone and a plate? Yep. Size-wise? You have four more questions. It's in your kitchen. You don't use it all the time. I swear wherever you get this. <laughs> <laughs> Is it under ten dollars? Yes. Hmm. Most of the time. Right, like you could buy it like full silver yeah. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or like gold plated, you know. Maybe. You could. Why don't you ask a question about it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a kitchen utensil? No. Wait, what do you mean by that? Anything that like a, from a forked spoon knife to a serving spoon or to a spaghetti grabber, you know, any yes. type of yes. kitchen utensil. But it's not, you don't, you don't touch food with it. I'll give you that. You don't physically touch food with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two more questions. But it's a tool you use in the kitchen. Mm -hmm, sure is. Sure is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Two more questions. Two more questions under 10 bucks. <laughs> You're pretty good at this, bro. Am I? I think so. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Even if you don't get it, bro, the fact that you're like in the realm is pretty good. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> under 10 bucks in between the size of a plate and a cell phone. And you're not directly... Touching food with it? Not even like dirty food? Mm -mm. I'll give you this. This doesn't count as one of your questions. When you use it, it may slightly touch food, but the point of it's not to touch food. Hmm. But it's a tool that you use in the kitchen. Sure is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Why don't you just go ahead and give up? Sure is. I mean, I got two questions, right? You got two questions left, yeah. That's what I'm trying to get at. Huh. It's a tool. You don't, you don't touch no food with it. You sure don't. Yeah. Uh-uh. You keep it in a drawer? Yes. Last yeah, question. Yeah, you do. Last question. Last question. You keep it in a drawer. And then you got to make your final guess. The point is to not touch food with it. But sometimes it can touch some food. Because I was thinking in my head, I was like a sponge or a, you know, like a mm. thing. But you don't want to touch food with it. And then I was thinking like a cutting board, but food touches cutting board all the time. And keep it in a drawer. And it's a kitchen. It's a kitchen utensil that you don't touch food with. What kind of BS is this? <laughs> and then I was thinking like a like a scale for weighing out uh, stuff, but I thought that'd be more than ten bucks, so I, I nixed that. <laughs> Keep it 
keep it in a drawer, don't you? And then I also thought about like a measuring cup, but you definitely touch. Right. With it. I'm struggling. All right, you keep it in a drawer. It's not electronic. Right. Uh, it's a little bigger than a phone. Keep it in a drawer, and you're not trying to touch no food with it. Nope, nope, nope. No, you're not trying to touch no food with it. Nope, nope, nope. No, you're not. Keep it in the drawer, though. <laughs> All right, sometimes it touches food. Does that mean it's touching liquid? It can, but also the purpose also of it's the same not. Thing. Yeah. That was my last question. Bro, what a riveting podcast episode. Dude, I don't know, dude, the people might be in on this with me, dude. They've been trying to get in there and figure it yeah. out. They yeah, yeah, they had their own you. guess. Yeah, let us know if you like this. Do you they think that I should put the what it is up on the screen? All right, like I think you gotta let him guess, right? Or no? I don't know. How do we do that? I'm not sure. Man. That's the crazy part. What what in your kitchen <clears throat> is not supposed to touch food? You know? Mm hmm That's the curveball right there. You use it. Oh, I, I don't know. Never mind. You want to give it away? I don't have a real I feel guess. Like that. We give it away. I don't have a real we guess. We have one more question. I asked the water one. Oh, okay. That was my last question. And I don't have a real guess, so you can give me that hint. You use it. Um, you don't use it to touch food, but you use it to get the food. You have to use the tool to get the food. I mean, you talking about and some the... tongs? Mm -mm. That's your that's your guess. You talking about some tongs? Because you you touch food with that. Right, but that's yeah, that's, that's not it. Are you done? You use it to Give get up? the food. Right to get you to the food. Touch the food. To get to the food. To get to the food. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing with your food? Are you you give up? I guess. Can opener. <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> this guy, man. <sighs> you know how many things I racked through in my brain, dude. <laughs> Right up top, dude. And I should have, I should have got that. <laughs> dude, I thought you were going to get it like question 12. Dude, I could you're not for the good. life of me, I could not for the life of me think of kitchen utensils. <laughs> <laughs> I was right there, dude. If I was on my A game, man, I would have had it. You was on it, baby. You was on it. You was on oh. it. There. Swing and a miss, man. Freaking Swing break. You win some, you lose most. That's what they say. When some you lose most. Bro, mm. you know what's great is I'm not sweating because I'm in air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I like usually at this point of the podcast, I'm sweating so bad. Hey, and quick question. Just, what's up? Would you rather win twenty five thousand or would you rather your best friend win a hundred thousand? I'd rather my best friend win a hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just feel like my brother could really use the money. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna wait who was gonna make the joke. <laughs> I was gonna be like, you think Casey would split it with you? <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say stuff like that. Oh, man. <laughs> Bro, uh, what's up, man? Uh, so we got time for <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. Right, we'll be back. Up. We'll be back to normal here after this one. Hey, right. we appreciate you rocking with us, man. This is a virtual thing. Nick's away, and I wasn't able to come through today because of the new doggo. 
But we're going to be back. We're going to be back next week. Love you. Appreciate your support. Like, subscribe. Do that. We forget to ask for that. And if you want audio versions, leave a rating. Preferably a good one. See you later. <laughs> hey, guys. want to give a huge shout out and a big thank you to all the patrons on Patreon. All your support means so much. We don't really monetize that much. So your support means the world to us and helps support and fund the show. So I want to give a huge shout out uh, to every single one of you real quick. Thank you to Paige Whitaker, Harley, Austin Ramsey, Tyler Cole, Christina Caldwell, Steve McClanahan, Micah Thibodeau, Emily Caitlin, Lily Puff Creations, Wes Johnson, Hannah Ray, Michael Smith, Aslin Roarball, Jillian Galliana, and again, if I butcher your name, I'm so sorry, Brooksy Flynn, Amanda, Wyatt, Rachel, September Ann, Dylan Fante, Krista Weinkoff, Samantha Clickenbeard, Sean Valerie Anderson, Jordan 4K, Noslian Riviera, <laughs> Chloe Jose Harte, Adam Sanchez, Sarah Dewey, De Monte Bird, Zach Opright, <laughs> Terrence, Sarah, Carly Jostas, uh, Kyle Nash, Mackenzie Somerville, I creamed <laughs> Alyssa Johnson, Amanda Whitmer, Samantha Scheiferle, Isaiah Francis, uh, Cambria G, Marissa Stuff, Brock Hedler, Alexis, Brendan McGuire, Jamichael Papendick, Sean Voigt. Oh, we got a couple more. And I'm butchering some of your names. I'm so sorry. Jamai Jamichael Papendick again. Tyler Kirk. Dick, Everett, Anthony Hardick, Violet Ann, Logan Daltrey, Ruslan KD, Leslie Terrell, Terrell Lewis, Helena Homan, Chris Heffelfinger, Amanda Ronnie, Kelly Jones, Kristen Dively, Oliver Assis, Aaron Guzman, Brianna Gara, Mannix Lovely, Cody King, Juan Buendia, Raw Mendia, Athletics Alexandre, Mike Galenia, <laughs> Ethan Kitter, uh, Jeremy, and Cody Wilson. Again, I butchered definitely some of you guys' names. I'm so, so sorry. But wanted to do this, pop in here and say a personal thank you to every single one of you that have supported us on Patreon. It means the world to us more than you know. If you guys want to help support us, the link is in bio. Definitely don't need to, but it definitely helps a ton. Appreciate you guys. Have a good week. See you next week.